talk about transitioning out of Ghana. Now, I realize that the fir your first stop when you left Ghana was to go to Thailand. Now, Thailand is not the place you typically hear people play. In fact, people would like to make jokes about Thailand all the time. My colleague journalists sometimes like to say that when you play football in Thailand, sometimes they pay you with rice and stuff like that. All <laughs> kinds of jokes. <laughs> talk, to me about, talk to me about going to Thailand and why Thailand for you in, in the first place. Talk to me about that. Um, I think it was the time that, that year was when uh, uh, Brickham Chelsea were the champions and uh, Mr. Chairman, he has a very good connection with my my, my then manager, the late uh, Joseph Kodjua Champon, may so rest in peace. And then um, after, after, I think I played only five games, then I had the ch this chance, mm -hmm. I went to you. Because that time I was with the national under 20, I cannot stay for Ghana for more than three months. I will get, I went for trials in Palma, at Udinese, Palermo. I think um, I had the deals, but the, the, the asking price was so much for the club, which it's make, it made it difficult. Then my agent came to me, he said, Frank, I have a deal in Thailand. Um, I, it will sound weird, but I've been in this football job for a couple of years. But then what I would say is taking you straight and putting you in Europe, they will put you in the second team. Maybe the wages you get is, is, is not much, but then we know Africa, if you, you've made it to the top, you need to feed a whole lot of people. So what do I think? And for him himself, he thinks that from this the Ghana, the climate, he preferred to put me in a, a, a climate not the same but similar to that of Ghana. So he 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 can advise me, but the all the decision is in my hand. And I said, okay, come on, Oli, let's try. Then they send the invites. We did everything we have to do. I have to fly to Germany. I took my visa there, and we went. Everything was perfect after my first try. I think it was for a week after the first day, the coach said he's in love with me. He, he wants to sign me. And then I said, okay, why not go? Hmm. Comparing the facilities and then whatever I saw in Ghana and that in in Thailand, I think for the start, it wasn't bad. But people criticized this a lot. Just, just talk to me about the quality itself generally of the Thai league. I mean... You are absolutely blazed. 26 goals, I believe, in the two seasons that you played for Buriram FC. Um, what, what was it like in terms of, one, the professionalism of their entire structure and the quality of the league itself? Um, I can say that that time I I haven't played in the other European clubs or only in Ghana I've played. Yeah. So I can only compare that of Ghana to what I saw there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They have you play in pitches, you played in front, you've been playing in front of over 5,000 or sometimes 10,000 spectators. Wow, they so like was, football like that? Yes, yes, wow. in Thailand. It, and I was playing Buram. Buram was one of the best clubs there. And, and, and they had everything, almost like Leicester. I think they had shares in Leicester. So most of the time, some of the players would be uh, they will be given the opportunity to go and train in Leicester, which I didn't get the opportunity because the president he said when I go I'm not coming back because he said <laughs> yeah he knew that you were too, you, you, you were very good and that you'd probably get signed up wow yes wow yeah. wow now just just on the lighter notes before we move on to other stuff do they really pay you in rice sometimes oh no. <laughs> They don't, even what, give, they don't even give it to you as part, as no, part payment. Young player, young player, any five thousand or seven thousand dollars. That that time, imagine. Oh wow. Ah, so I, I think it was good. I I don't need to say this, but at the beginning, from a, a player who just moved from Ghana and no, that's and a, that's, such that's, kind. that's a lot of money because I mean you yeah. and I are both in the industry, and I can tell you that a lot of the so-called European countries don't even pay that much for a lot of players. That's right. And did you know how much I was earning in the Ghana Premier League? Tell me about Please. it. 
<laughs> I was stop. Alaji, Alaji, Alaji Guza would beat me. I was stop. I was doing everything for the place. My 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 salary was fifty cities. You're and that one, I was, I'm telling the truth. Wow. And later, I went to the national team, and it's the work the improvement was eighty cities. <laughs> but I I took. He stole my dad. I took his like like a platform. Like a platform for you, yeah. You. Yeah. So. It was okay for me, and that when I get this money, I feel like I'm, I'm also somebody in the family. Nice, nice, nice. Frank, hold your thoughts there.